What is up in this video? I want to talk to you about the five systems that every single business needs to have in place in order to be successful. We're here in the music studio and in a way the music studio is kind of like a system. You play a sound over here, it goes over there, something else happens, something else gets triggered. And that's the way I want you to think about your business as well. It's not just about the initial action or an SOP or a process. It's about the domino effect that you can create with multiple processes working in tandem. So let's talk about the first system that's most important. I call this the leadership personal accountability system. That is you as a leader, how do you show up? How consistently do you show up? And how do you lead the team? How does the executive team lead the team if you're in a larger organization? Because that's going to translate to the cultural system, which is going to be the definition of the principles that the entire organization follows. And if you don't have anything for people to lean on, they're not really going to know how to approach certain problems or certain dilemmas that are going to come up for them on their journey. So that's the first is the personal leadership accountability system. The second system that you absolutely need to have is an operational system. So this is your bread and butter. This is your legal documentation. This is your tax filing. This is your uh, contracts, 1099s, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And making sure that all your ducks are in a row on the operational side, managing the company emails, managing the task flow, managing the way that the entire clock moves, right? If you visualize a large clock, operations are responsible for putting the gears in the right places so that everything moves together. They are the glue and the cohesion of every organization. And very often the COO is one of the most important yet overlooked roles that is uh, hugely efficient and hugely uh, impactful when it comes to its ability to make a difference within the efficiency and profitability of a particular organization. The third system you have is a promotional system, is getting a message about your company out there, whether that's through social media, whether that's through advertising, whether that's through other methods. If people aren't seeing your product or service, it doesn't exist to them. People only know what they see. I'm gonna go back to a little exercise. Watch, try it right now. Picture what is outside of the immediate room that you're in. Okay, you can, you can, you might be able to see out a window, you might be able to see some trees, but try and picture what's beyond that. You're making approximations. There could be an experience happening or event happening, and because it's not within your reticular activation system, because you don't physically see it and experience it, it actually is not real to you and does not happen. This is uh, an effect when somebody watches the news, very often that experience doesn't feel real to them unless they experience it first and really, really common. So what you wanna have is a promotional system within your business. It's not just, hey, we post on social media and we get leads. What is the content systems backing those promotional systems look like? The writing of the content, the releasing of the content. Are you releasing the content? Are you paying other people to release the content for you? Is there a bigger play happening where you're buying lists? What does the email look like? There's a lot of components within that promotional system, which usually the CMO is accountable for, that if not streamlined, if not SOP'd out, can have a lot of holes and you could be leaving a lot of leads on the table and underutilizing uh, lead potential, which is big no, no, no. The fourth system, fourth system, okay? What, what, what would have been the first three? What would have been the first three you gotta remember? Personal accountability system, operation system, promotional system. And the fourth system is my favorite system, the profitability system. And there's two sides to the system. This is the ability to get sales consistently and conversions consistently. This is optimizing your funnel, making sure that your activities have ROAS, have return. You know, they, they, they talk about ROI, return on investment. They talk about ROAS, return on ad spend, but very few talk about ROA, return on action. And you need to make sure that if you want your organization to be successful, the actions that you're delineating and delegating and task and timelining out have a specific return component that is tangible and measurable in some capacity. Otherwise, you're spinning your wheels and you're not actually going to make progress towards your momentum goal. And the fifth and final system that you absolutely have to have after the profitability system is a growth system. Now, this one is a wild card that a lot of organizations overlook. Sometimes the correct thing to do is to disrupt your own strategy. When do you know that and how do you? Sometimes the most obvious thing is to take a step back and take a weekend off. When do you know that? How do you know that? Sometimes you have to redelegate someone from one position to another. How do you know that? When do you know that? Think about it. Who, what, when, why? It's all about the who is doing it, what are they doing, and when does it need to be done by? And perhaps most importantly, why are they doing it? And that why relates back to the cultural system that you have of the principles that you install as a founder through your personal accountability that defines the way that you run every aspect of your operations that translates into the way that you communicate to your customer through your promotional and marketing efforts that resolves itself with the bottom line for your business because people are excited to do business with you and your business is highly profitable as a result of it. All the way through to your growth mechanism where you have the ability to disrupt your own process in a way that is systematic, where you're always 
adjusting and recorrelating and making tweaks in a way that optimizes your organization. There's two ways to think about this. Over here, you have the tree, which is nurture and fostering, fostering talent, investing in people, creating support systems for them, helping them grow. Tree is growth. And over here, you have the factory system. Visualize like a big factory that's turnkey and is just creating and pumping out. This is automation. This is onboarding. This is systems. This is lead flow. This is creating a pinball machine where every single one of the actions from your growth over here on your people side can have an exponential return when it comes to the number of things it's able to affect. If one person is only able to draw one image, then they're only going to have that one image. If a person is able to generate 100 images instantly, you've just 100x your output. And the two systems work together. For people, I always think nurture, growth, organic, think trees. And for the business, I always think systems. So creating sustainable systems within the business that can be leveraged for optimal output. And that is how all of these five systems come together. You have the personal accountability system from the leader laying down a vision that is translating into the way that you conduct operations, timelines, task delegation. That is then translated into the way that you communicate with your customer through marketing and promotional efforts all the way through to resolve at your bottom line in a profitable business that people are excited to conduct business with all the way through to the growth system of nurture and systems that allow you to ascend upwards and repeat the process over and over again, all with the one intention to help you realize that vision that you have in your head as a founder and to have it make a positive impact in the lives of your customers and of your team. Hopefully you found this video helpful. This has been the five systems that every business needs to have. Hopefully you found it insightful. Let me know which system did you like best? Would you like to have some insights on a particular system? Is there a particular question or thought that came up for you during this video that you have top of mind right now? Share that down below. I can't wait to see it. And maybe I'll make a special video specifically on that topic just for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Mikhail. Subscribe if you want more content like this around entrepreneurship, leadership, team dynamics, how to build a great company. And that is where we're going to end it today. This has been Mikhail. And if you want more content around entrepreneurship and how to build a great company, stay subscribed to the channel. I look forward to the next video. I'll see you there.